It sounds more California than Cornwall, but Newquay is about to enter the space race. Parked up at the airport is Cosmic Girl, a jumbo that in a previous life flew two and a half million people. Now it's the launch pad for a 21-metre rocket that will be released over the Atlantic. Just minutes later, its cargo of nine satellites will be in orbit. The beauty of horizontal launch or air launch means that we can use an airport. We're not having to build a launch pad in the middle of, you know, some really remote location. This airport's really good at landing and, and taking off 747s, you know, and that's what this is. It just has a really cool rocket under its wing this time. After taking off from Newquay, Cosmic Girl will head to the drop zone off Ireland's south coast. She'll do laps around what's called the racetrack while engineers carry out final checks. Then, at 35,000 feet, the rocket will release, fire its engines and accelerate to 8,000 miles an hour, past Portugal and into space. In the cockpit will be squadron leader Matthew Stannard. He normally flies Typhoon jet fighters for the RAF, but launching the first satellites into space from UK soil takes some beating. It's an incredible sight to watch it go. You know, it starts off level with you, and just out the window here is you literally it's framed by the rocket as she goes, um, and just watching her go to space, and you can just keep watching her going and going and going. And you, you know, I remember on the first one, Mission Control called that she was going through 150,000 feet, and it was as bright as the sun still going to space. Virgin Orbit has successfully launched satellites on four rockets from its California base but that followed a test flight that failed, and the UK's Civil Aviation Authority has been cautious in giving the spaceport the go-ahead. It has taken months to get the paperwork signed off. The authorities had to check the blast zone of a fully fueled rocket blowing up, liaise with air traffic control on clearing the skies, and assess the risk to shipping if anything falls from the skies. Britain is already one of the biggest builders of satellites, but the government says having the first spaceport in Europe could be worth £3.8 billion to the economy over the next decade. Our position on the globe means we're in a very good position, not so much for those equatorial huge payload satellites that we grew up as children seeing, but small, uh, low-Earth observation satellites, the COM satellites, we're very well positioned. And we in Norway have been looking at our opportunities given our geography, and I'm delighted to say that, uh, unlike in the race to the South Pole, we look set to beat the Norwegians on this one. For Cornwall, this is huge, not just because it's an inspiration for young people, but because of the good year-round jobs that will be attracted to one of the most deprived parts of the country.